Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson, and really looking forward to bringing you this World Cup Round of 16 match. It's England versus France. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. John Stones plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Kylian Mbappe plays with Antoine Griezmann on the flanks. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. And this confrontation is underway. Griezmann and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end chance to attack using width and teammates to play it to well they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position Sterling ready and an effective clearance Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And still a chance. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. One nil, then. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Foden Mbappe and England with acres of space out wide he's in with a chance and that'll be offside perfectly positioned to take it away well, doesn't have to do it on his own. 
But a bit disappointingly, running out of space. It will be a goal kick. And take it away. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Now potential danger. Oh, really good header. But the goalkeeper there to cover up. Great vision from Harry Kane. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. He's found a pocket of space. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Good pressure high up the pitch. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. Goal. So, back underway. Can France find another goal? Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Losing possession a bit easily. Can they square the game? Oh dear not really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it Declan Rice and the counter attack is on options available out of play England throw in coming up Shaw that's a useful cross and clears his lines Kane And a no-nonsense clearance. Nicely timed tackle. Mount. Making progress. Aimed towards Mbappe. A very effective clearance. And France did well to win it back. Mbappe in the centre. And you need your defender to take charge. Mbappe. They couldn't maintain possession. There will be one minute added on at the end. And Sterling has it. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. The first half here comes to an end.
So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage England after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Crossing into the middle. Clattered away. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Tempele. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And over the touchline for what will be an England throw. And he's beaten him here. And it still could be dangerous. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Well, I couldn't quite find his teammate. Benzema. Benzema! Oh, a smart stop. Played over. Disappointing delivery, sailing over everyone in the middle. Really vital interception here. This looks promising out wide. Cross towards that far post. Something to worry about here. How could he take them on and beat them? But the danger averted for now. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. And it's played into the centre. Oh, just can't keep it down. Goal kick it is. Well, he anticipated the cross so well. And in the end, as you said, Derek, he couldn't quite keep it down. It's a good effort, though. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. Mbappe. Well, as you can see, England have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Dembele with the cross. Magnificent stuff, and quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway, dead level, 2 2. Number 17, Well, they keep the ball moving. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Karim Benzema. Oh, he's through here. Oh, it's astonishing. One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Benzema wasn't going to miss this one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. That's a well-constructed goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Mason Mount entering the match. Number eight, Calvin Phillips. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that.
Well, you have to conclude, Stuart, an opportunity wasted. Yeah, and the other players are furious with him, and rightly so. That's such a poor free kick. Well read to win possession back. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And showing excellent vision. Had to come up with the ball and did. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Shaw. Well, showing good defensive judgment. Five minutes left. And support available. A well, disappointing end to the move. Dembele, can he play it in? A deft clearance. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Benzema, and here's Dembele. Cross could be useful, not away completely. What a vital intervention. Karim Benzema. Well, nothing productive, really. It comes to absolutely nothing. And it's over! France are through to the quarterfinals. Well, they do deserve to go through to the next round because of their quality in attacking areas. But they must show greater desire to defend when they lose possession. Otherwise, they'll have problems in the next round. And the shining light for his side, Karim Benzema. Yeah, he gave those defenders a difficult time. He got the all-important goal and created plenty of chances too. He certainly deserves the plaudits for his efforts today.